This is our demo application of ZoomStack. This is using the API, the vector tile API. As you can see, we've got a really nice user experience. We can zoom in and out of the map. New levels of detail appear as we zoom in and out. Generalized versions of the data as we zoom out and then we get the more detail as we zoom in. We've got four different cartographic styles for ZoomStack. We've got outdoor, we've got road, we've got the light style, and we've got the dark night style. So we've provided four different styles depending on your mapping use case. Equally, if you take the data set, then it's fully customizable and really flexible in terms of you can create your own cartographic styles. It's very customizable in terms of the content, so we can turn layers on and off. So if we're not interested in buildings for our particular use case, we can turn those off. We can turn off the roads, we can turn off labels, and equally we can turn off any layer of data that you can see on the map. We can go and fly around the country. So this is one of the things that the vector tiles allow us to do. It gives us a really great user experience in web and mobile mapping environments. Um, everything's rendered really quickly in the browser. We can tilt, pan and shift the map around as we like, turn the map upside down, and then with the click of a button, reset that back to our normal view. You can see we've got fantastic levels of, of content and detail. We've got every building in the country, all the roads and names, and also includes um, open green space. So you can see we've got things like allotments, parks, play spaces, really good levels of detail at every zoom level. So even as we zoom out, we see national parks and we see relevant content at each zoom level. So as well as our buildings and our roads and our schools and hospitals in urban areas, we've got fantastic levels of detail in rural areas too, thanks to our Terrain 50 contours. You can see there, for example, we have a really good depiction of Snowdon and the surrounding mountains. And we've got the contours in our outdoor style. Our road style is much more like our kind of traditional ordnance survey maps. And it has those orange contours, which our explorer and land ranger maps are really well known for. You can see that in, a, in an urban area, in a city like London, have fantastic levels of content of all the buildings, all the railway stations and undergrounds. We just changed that so we've got a top down view. Um, London Waterloo there. If we zoom out, we see all the parks, all the green spaces. So it's not just white space, we actually fill in all those lovely urban green spaces as well. The rail and road networks, really prevalent on this style. If you want to use ZoomStack as a, as a pure base map to underpin your own data, then you may like to use the, the light style, which is a much more subdued colour palette and will really enable your own data to pop on top of that map. So vector tile technologies, um, they have many ben benefits over um, raster tiles, but one of the things is that they render really quickly, they render in the browser, and they enable us to do some really neat things like fly to locations. So we can click a button, and within one button we fly right down into our location of interest. And as you can see, um, the tiles are rendering really, really quickly. If I try and pan across the country, the tiles are already loaded into my browser. When I'm changing the map style, it is the same data, it's just changing the style sheet and it's doing that on the fly. So that's all happening in the browser, thanks to WebGL technology.